Diego C. Mono, VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo. Lakad mo. Totoon. There's going to be four staffs. Gonna, there's going to be dispels. So, the... Uh, the Omni Knight's low, right? The uh, Hammer of Purity is, uh, is not something to uh, take lightly. Shaka, he took it lightly and he died because of it. Jenna, he gets the first blood. Side of a lasso lift, you're, you're gonna be fine. I mean, he's not going BKB, right? So if you get lasso into blood, right? You might just get silenced. Yeah, okay, just nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, I also like that you mentioned the attack animation and all of that. Remember? Oh, what I remember, and that's, that's super old school. When uh, in Warcraft 3, the Quelling Blade would give you a different attack animation. Like Tidehunter, the Tidehunter one was yep. so good. I yeah, love the fact that you get a different one. Uh, Janek being uh, hunted down here. He's running away. He wants a high five. He's going to be losing some HP. DCMC, he turned around to pick up something from his carrier. I think it was the boot. So now he's even more fast. He wants your blood. And Janek is bleeding. He's going to be bleeding even more. And uh, DCMC is not giving up. He doesn't want to allow him to deny himself to the creep. Beautifully done there. But uh, that's some time. Out of the soul rip, they are fair. Yeah, there's no yeah, they're not. The zombies, though, they are annoying demon, and that could be a problem because there's three zombies on him. Four, if you count the undying in our Kano, he's gonna eat an unstable concoction under the tower. Obviously, not gonna be doing too much damage, but uh, enough to uh, make him scared for his life. That? Oh, oh wow. Wait, who got the kill first? PP got PP. the kill first, but he does lose a wave under tower, so I guess it's even. <laughs> At don't like draw symbols or something when they see that the uh, Firefly isn't gonna be doing anything or you know drawing something for us. Then go mm. in trouble. Peepee's not oh, what a here. move. He's gone. What a play by Nango. That was beautiful. Yeah, the Ember was feeling very confident because he had the tombstone, but because you have an Undying and a Pugna, they're not the easiest uh, to execute combination with this Ember. That's the scary part. You end up with this terrible lane for PP, and I don't know, all of the lanes, like the top lane. Speaking of scary, very scary. Um, yeah, that's like my fear. PP, the only lane with a stun is, uh, and now he's going to brute force this camp. He might just die here, frostbite level 2. Um, duh, duh. Okay, duh. He's gonna be fine. Just in time. Just in time. He's uh, he's gonna be fine. Uh, Bat Rider not skilling up the lasso just Ooh, yet. Shaka going down and the Arcano might be next. Actually, it seems to be tanky enough. Not with the Ember coming over. Has the Arcane Rune. So there's gonna be... Misses the chains. I should be able to uh, get the grab here. One more slat of Fist. Will he even need it? He will use it just for the... Uh, You're stuck in this lane and they wanna abuse this. Yeah, they're going for him. They, he does have a tower. With the Omni coming in, you're not killing him. Only now he pops the ulti. And yeah, well, with the uh, Chemical Rage, this hero not going down has Radiant. There's a lot of damage. And Balrogs, when you look at them, they're really not that tanky. They will find Jenek. At least will be bringing him down. Running into the Pit of Malice might not be the best move. Okay, it's a great move because the Alchemist is a little bit too strong. Slide of Fist chains onto two Demon looking very much dead. And the Slide of Fist will finish him off. The CMC comes over. The Blood Rite onto nobody. And December Spirit is not getting caught. He's Going forward, DCMC, you are not fast if you have chains and an unstable concoction on top of you. He's not moving, and Mad Kings, they are making it work. Arcano, gross in weaponry, it's something that could slow him down. And look at the Emperor and his dives. You dove me early on onto my tier two. I won there. I will win in your bases. Yeah, they do get that power, but at what cost? Okay, they do get the concoction. That's a lot of Arcano's HP. Holy crap, he's dead. They're sandwiched. They're sandwiched. Look at Chaka. He lets it go. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Ah, it's there, There's no bad weather. There's just bad clothes and uh, Mad Kings. They're so stacked, they can buy Gucci. Bad. Ah, definitely not. Uh, Red Monster, he died close to this area a second ago. He will get his ulti off this time around with the Omni coming over. He will be using the Heavenly Grace. The Red Monster, he's surviving, turns around, uses the DK and the Tombstone. It was stolen, so there's gonna be a zombie apocalypse here. We can definitely uh, hear the intro of the Walking Dead right now. And the first one to die, it is gonna be Demon. Mad Kings still looking forward to look, go forward. PP going for it, has the Shield Rune, only 156 HP left on that one, but they will be melting the CM without any being run at and even when they cast the stuns the freaking hug at the nether ward is already up like okay Mango is 
If, if you're fighting around the Omni Knight, it just goes to show that nobody can die. Because, as you mentioned, you have those stuns, but Heavenly Grace deals with all of them. Okay, yeah. so... Alchemist, Frozen, he will stun himself. Uh, I guess that's a win in itself, just annoying him a little bit. But the Underlord is looking like he's gonna die, yeah. Okay, this game has gotten to a point that we talked about. Usually it goes the opposite, but look at that smoke. They're whipping around. Beautiful. They're gonna Beautiful. find Red Monster, but he has that load as we talked about. Arzant is behind him. That's the problem. He got his ulti off. Are you even gonna kill him? The answer, it's probably gonna be no. And even if you kill him right now, no, there's gonna be the Guardian Angel. He has one protecting him. And the Tombstone trying to kill him. That's not gonna be happening. Everybody has to run away. Maybe they can kill Jenic. Not gonna be going that way. And it's time to call it a game because Balrogs, they have nothing more to give in this game number one 22 minute game nice predictions here coming from the casters we knew exactly how this one is gonna go well with the backs against the wall oh man this game's gonna be fun this is gonna be a slaughter fest again they're just gonna be diving Vince, right he <laughs> he has postured himself opened up this chest to the enemies he might have uh, taken some damage because of it uh but it doesn't matter because the enemies have taken psychological damage will will be a problem later on ours the i have no idea what the hell we was doing the only answer i have uh, underestimating the damage of the impetus it really does hurt usually you're like i'm a high armor hero and then you find out that pure damage is doesn't really care much about it. Dude, this top lane is ruthless. Like, the CMO is 100% HP. Arkan. Hmm, that's exactly what it's gonna be. Let's see if the Pagana is gonna be uh, giving some dances there to the uh, party, some salsa. Not very good at dancing, I have to say, Jenek, because uh, he kind of tripped on his feet there. Arkan. So, having a very good time on the edge going for drums as well. So. Hello. Uh, as I praise, Shaka gets engaged. Oh, getting gone nice. on that does take him down. The Illuminate and the Slatter Fist will finish off Red Monster, but Demon in a lot of trouble. Dodd is not even looking towards Nengo. He wants the support, and Demon is being saved up. Works with those heals. The Healing Lotus coming out as well. Getting close to the Magnus. Not something you want to do. The Arpy will be there, but they don't have the damage. The Storm will be surviving so much armor on this guy. And the Doom oh. onto the Magnus. You want the Skewer. You want to run away. It's going to be the double silence inside of this screen and they will finally bring him down coming for a deny Nengo decides it's not worth it and him and Shaka are now chasing TP gonna slow down the enchant is on him but he's still gonna be fine using the sticks has enough mana to get onto the high ground if he wants to but he might just be baiting grouping here the plugin is just shoving the tower of the nether blast that's just dead Hello? Yep, yeah, our, our observer doesn't even want to look at that one because it's it's not fair any longer as the uh, as the enchantress would say it's just not fair because uh, he has died four times in this game. Storm jumping in, demon. He thinks he's speedy on his little horse, but he's definitely not going to be living through that one. No blinding light. Uh, if you want to have the skeleton king arcana, uh, one expect. Yeah, Anybody gonna go to segway? Go. Speaking of segways, looks like Shaka. I'm just trying too hard. I'm just trying too hard. They're trying pretty hard to kill Jenik, but they don't need to because this is going to be an easy one. There's a Wraith Fire Blast, the biggest spell of them all. That does keep him in place for long enough. There's going to be an RP. That's a pretty good one. Onto the Doom. Keep him in place. Secure him back. Slower bind on him. He turns around, uses the Doom. He doesn't have the ulti on the Wraith team because he's lost his life. Just earlier, an RCT is not taking any damage. Kill me. Not going to be happening. Does have that Zader, and it's going to be giving him the region necessary to survive. Not for long. Finally, he will be taken down and actually they've lost three mad kings they don't have anything left pp where's his mana he might have enough to get to the high ground he turns around i'm gonna fight i'm not gonna be running away from four versus one doesn't matter i will die as a man uh, that racing he is very close to the radius well, that's huge shaka getting turned around on the life drain is there they're again being greedy with the targeting they're like we don't want the enchantress but that's the only hero that you can kill now you're gonna be getting nengo at least they do run him down nicely done by pp actually in the end all right yeah they did have that board so maybe that's why they felt so confident jumping the tier two like that and they even farm an ancient stack. B. We'll see how that works out for him, but Manta definitely good versus the chains, versus the blinding light, dodging the RP, also possibility. Fine. He's dead. What? What? What's wrong with their greed? Oh. Greed is good. Okay, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, Ward does get taken down. Play Age of Empires. 
True, true. Jenna getting gone on for step to the side. He's trying to life drain and live it. He's taking the life of the Raid King, surviving through all of it. There's not going to be enough damage. And Mad Kings, just like in the previous game, none of them will die when they're together. They're strong. Up, Raid King is like uh, writing a uh, wish list for uh, for Santa Claus there with his items. Yeah, all those items very good on Raid King. Whether he's been a good boy and will get all of those from Santa Claus remains to be seen. Speaking of Santa Claus, Enchantress gains not a uh, what, what's the name of the thing you get when you're not uh, a good kid? Like the it's not carbon, it's a uh... slap. Oh, like. <laughs> Thought it was laughing, what the hell? Oh, bug now, hello. Yeah, no, no RP, nice, Doom coming out in time. Jenek in some trouble, he's still surviving the Crimson Guard, helping with that one, Pavis comes out as well. Shaka, now he needs to run, and here comes the storm. Boom, Arcano is dead, and there's gonna be a follow up as well. This Raid King thinks he can run, but it will take only one of his lives. The question is, do you die? Magnus has bought back, he doesn't want to allow his carry to die in the CMC. Baiting them in a little bit, but that's gonna Mad Kings, you know, they they're playing quite flawlessly this time. Uh well, they know they know about this move, but oh boy. onto the two of them. Where's the damage? No, nowhere. No, and jumping into the smoke screen, you would just die yourself. At least he's surviving a little bit longer, not gonna be happening. They found a bonus one as well. Both the Magnus and the uh Coddle will die, and the rest of them, well, only if they get the DPs away, will be able to live. Ember Spray does have the HP necessary for the game. Yeah, definitely not, and uh, especially because you can put down the smoke screen, so it's, you might not even be able to do it with, during that turn rate. If the Ricky is uh, is fast on his fingers, he can get the smoke screen out easily. Mm -hmm. There's also Aghanim Scepter on that Ricky, so even if someone gets cured, he has that extra pass range to get on top of his friend and uh, give some moral support. With moral support though, is Shaka. BP in some trouble, will be okay, gets us off out, the slide of fish chains connect, but he's gonna be doomed, Ember got a little bit too close, nice blinding light there, the doom is a little bit too deep, tier 4s will rip him apart, and DCMC gets the kill, now the stun onto the Pugna, Jenek has the 4 staff, and then the crap, he's gonna be fine, healing up there with the uh, life drain, and through the BKB, he is still healing himself up, the Pavis will protect him a little bit, not Ooh. for long, he will finally fall, but uh, did they go a little bit too far, BP still has the Aegis, nice dodge there on the impetus, and BP will die, what? What? I thought he was gonna stop that 100%. He thought it was the real Ricky. Now the stun on PP is turning around. He wants to fight, going super deep, finishing off Demon. Has enough mana to run away if he needs to. DCMC still has his ulti, so he feels confident fighting, but he's not that great in terms of mana. Has to be super careful because the Ricky can take it all away. But for now. Oh man, another Ricky. This, this is so bad for Ningo. Uh, now he's down uh, to six seconds, so you know, it. That doesn't matter any longer. Uh, go jumping onto DCMC. A little bit to the DCMC just isn't doing the damage to this Doom. He has the Shivas as well, and Shaka will be going down. DCMC has the BKB, doesn't want to use it just yet. It's gonna get pulled in. There's the Bloodstone being used by the Storm, but he's not gonna be doing all that much. Oh. Ornthos finally out. That's gonna be a Skewer. RP. Okay, the battery? Ah, it's, it's not gonna work here for sure. Jenek, slide okay. his chains. That's gonna be beautiful. Jenek is looking dead. Ram monster dead as well. And Dodd, now you have to run. Can they get on top of him? He's gonna be able to jump himself away. Source Brady doesn't even care about his carry. Just die. Who cares? They're not gonna matter all that much. Drew, although they find the Doom, can he actually brace him down? RP again, Storm jumping in, he's gonna get a nice electric vortex, but oh, the decrepifice on the Doom, he's gonna be fine, not taking any damage now, the ulti from the CM comes out, he's not taking any damage from the Raid King, you have a blunt blade, my friend, you need someone to sharpen that one, King, my ass, he's gonna be frozen and dies to a solo CM ulti, but he still has one more life, let's see what he can do with it, nothing, because he is doomed, his throne will fall, kill the King, and then they will fall apart, nothing to fight for any longer and the doom is coming forward you wanted to skewer me you wanted the horn toss and now i'm coming to break it down jedek he gives his life away let's see if it's gonna be for not doom uh, we're still totem are you just gonna lose two heroes like that no not gonna be happening without coming over has the smoke screen and the magnus can't do mad kings here quite chill about it all they have this ward in the portal as the entirety of wards oh man they're gonna send the bulky boy first but they know he's there 
and he quickly becomes skeleton king. Yeah, he will be uh, taken down. Does have another life though, but this salty from the CM again doing so much. RP won't be coming out. You don't get out of your signs. The Doom on the Raging is trying to fight until the end, but the end will come as they have called GG and accepted defeat in his best of two series versus Mad Kings. Oh, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day. Right.